Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We have a Tati Beauty palette review. If you guys want to know if this palette is worth the hype, make sure to keep on watching. And let me know if you like this video down below. And also let me know if you guys want me to do a a review of the Blendiful from Tati Beauty as well. I did not pick it up because the time I ordered the palette was not the time when the Blendiful came out. But if you guys want me to pick up the Blendiful and give it a review, I am definitely 100% down to do it. Probably will do it even though you guys don't ask for it anyways. But make sure to hit that thumbs up button and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're already not subscribed. And make sure to turn on the notification bell so that you are reminded every time I drop a new video. Yeah, so let's get right into it. So it came like this in this black box. Black box. It doesn't say Tati Beauty anywhere. Which like, I don't know if you guys ordered Jeffree Star ever, but it comes like, the box says Jeffree Star, like it's pink. The, uh, the uh, what is it called? The wrapping paper is um, embossed with his logo everywhere. Like it's, it's a whole like, what is it called? It's a whole experience. But like most brands just do like, black box. Anyways. This is what the inside, she wasted all her money on the inside, guys. This is what the inside of the box looks like. It's awesome. This is not PR, but it looks like almost like I'm getting PR. But it came with this like stuff that I've never seen before. And literally, I want this stuff so bad. It's amazing. And it's eco friendly too. But here, the palette is. Let's see if this is on the this is the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 palette and it retails for $48 and you can buy this on TatiBeauty.com. It did get restocked so it is currently available and the Blendiful is available too which I did not get. But yeah, let's hop right in. It comes with the sleeve on top so when you take it off, you know, protective sleeve, it looks like that. Very Tati already, you know, with the rose gold, it says Volume 1. So I'm assuming we're gonna get more than one volume. This is the palette. That's the palette right there, of course. The mirror is enormous. It, it feels quality, like it's heavy and everything. It looks quality, it looks like really, really good. And yeah, you guys already know I'm excited. I'm probably, again, I don't really do swatches on this channel just because I feel like a swatch doesn't really give the pigment a test of time except for obviously the glitters and the metallics that you probably would want to swatch but you guys could find swatches on everybody else's channel trust me how this palette works instead of having like a bunch of different shades you have six tones memory ritual story soothe aura and poet so those are your six tones and then you have four different finishes so you have a matte a sequin finish, a metallic finish, and then a glitter finish at the top row. It's really a popular palette for makeup artists because we have everything in here. Like we have, you can do a smoky eye, you can do a very natural everyday look if you want a little bit of pink. Well, it's more like a maroon color, but if you want a little bit of a maroon color, you can add that. But yeah, I'm very excited to try this out. And I think, okay, so, for all of you guys who have been here since watching my first video, I usually do my face and then I would um, do my eyes. I'm just gonna start changing it up a little bit because I've been getting a lot of fallout on my face and having to redo my face and I would get a lot of creases sometimes when it takes a long time to do something. I'm just gonna apply some Morphe Translucent Eyelid Primer. I think this is the last time this guy will be featured on my channel for right now. I think I am gonna be changing to the MAC Painterly Paint Pot because it is overall just a little bit better. Um, I, I don't hate this guy, but like, I've seen better. <laughs> so if you're um, a sister on a budget, <laughs> economic sister, uh, I would recommend this, you know, it's a good price point and it works for it. I want a little bit something that gives a little bit more coverage. So we're just gonna place this all over the eyelids. So I'm just going to go in with a Morphe M124 brush and I'm going to start off with Soothe and I'm going to use that as my transition shade, you know, because it's pretty much my skin color. So I'm just going to take that on this back of brush and put a little bit, I'm just going to put a little bit right in my crease right here and then right after it's in my crease, I'm going to take a different Morphe brush. I'll let you guys know which one it is. And I'm going to blend that out. Not... 
not a lot of kickback. Um, let's see for Fallout, but I think we'll be okay. So now that I've placed that on my lid, I'm just going to take a Morphe 513 brush and I'm just gonna blend that out. And obviously we're going for a way more natural look. And now I'm just taking a uh, Morphe 5 M518. So it's deepening up perfectly in my crease. And as you guys can tell, it looks very natural. That's kind of what I'm going for. Now I'm going to go in with Story and I'm going to put that again in my crease just to blend that out. Now I'm gonna dip into Aura and just put that on the outside of what I just blended, kinda to make it blend seamlessly. Oh wow, these shits are pigmented. So I'm just gonna take uh, another M124 brush and I'm just gonna take Story but in the metallic shade. I'm just gonna put that a little bit over on the end, on the outer eye, on the outer, on the outer end of my eye. So I'm gonna take um, the glitter of Ritual, I think. And then we're gonna just put that on the inner lid, honestly. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I cleaned up the eye shape a little bit and I think this is gonna be the look that I'm gonna copy on the other side. But, yeah, look, there's my accent. So I'm just gonna go and copy the other one right off camera. This is the completed eye look off camera. So here, so you guys can check it out. So I'm just going to finish off my base and everything so that I can, I can do my <laughs> lower lash line and yeah so that I can give you my full thoughts and everything that I think. So I completed the rest of the look off camera. Still a little dewy from the spray I just sprayed on my face, but we're just gonna finish it off. So I'm going to take a Morphe M165 brush and I'm just gonna go dip into Soothe, which is again another transition shade. And I'm just gonna line that under on my lower lid. And then I'm just gonna take a Morphe M433 and blend that out. And then we're just gonna take a bit of story, just a bit. Same thing, put it on your lower lid. And then we're just gonna take Aura. Yes. We're just gonna do that on the exact other eye. We're gonna dip into Aura, but into the metallic shade, and we're just gonna place that in our inner corner to finish off the look. This is the complete look for the Tati Beauty palette. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys love the look. I love the fucking glitter on the eyes. Like, do you guys see it? But yeah, I mean, of course, it always comes out amazing. The the glitters were amazing. They're so soft. The, honestly, to be honest with you, I had more of a problem with Story's matte than the Story sequin. The Story matte just, when I would set it down, it would just disappear after I blended. The Story sequin was setting down immaculately. The color was there right away. Soothe was an amazing um, transition shade. Aura, again, just like the Conspiracy Mini Palette, super pigmented um, brightening shade. Very, very pigmented. I did not dip into Poet or Memory, unfortunately, but of course I will soon. They are all amazing formulas. It's an amazing palette. Uh, but yeah, this if you guys want to pick this up, I would highly recommend it. This palette is amazing. If it's from this look to a wedding glam to everyday glam, this is a palette to just pick up. And especially for makeup artists, your clients will love this palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
don't forget to check out Dika the podcast. I will leave the link in the description down below. This week's episode is the episode about episode about autonomous driving. So I hope you guys enjoy the podcast and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Have a great one, guys. See you next time. Oh, by the way, remember all those times when I was like, a giveaway is coming. Stay tuned, bitch. Stay tuned because a giveaway is right around the corner. Make sure you have those post notification bells on because you do not want to miss when I upload. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to today's video, makeup techniques you're doing wrong. If you would like to see how you can step up your makeup game and all the possible steps that you're doing wrong and how you can improve them, make sure to keep on watching. And don't forget to leave a comment down below what you think about this video and what you think I should do next as well. And don't forget to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. And don't forget to hit that notification button so that you're notified every single time I drop a new video. But anyways, let's get right into the video. So I have a lot of makeup on right now. No, I have no makeup on, obviously. I don't know if you guys could tell me but. I might grab some products uh, to show you guys, for example, like, so some things I might um, show you like an application or like an example of bad and good. Some I might not just cause it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> so you could just like see what I mean by what I'm talking about. But one of the biggest techniques that I see a lot of people doing wrong is how they hold their makeup brushes when they're applying eyeshadow. So for example, here I just have a Morphe 330 blending brush. A lot of people will hold the brush like this when they're putting pigment on their eye and you do not want to hold the brush like that, <laughs> especially if you're blending. So what the rule for a brush is, remember this, like when we do that, it's gonna be like, oh my God, look, the pad is broken. <laughs> You. Mentally, I'm so fucking crazy. I 100% believe that the rule. I'm just. This is just another brush. This is a Morphe M124 brush. If you're packing on pigment like um, a shimmer or metallic or anything like that, you want to use a more close uh, grip on the brush, so that way you have more pressure, and more pressure is gonna equal more pigment and more payoff of that color. So yes, when you're applying something like a metallic over here to your lid, you would use the brush.